Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Alvin Shock from Shining 3D. In our previous episode, we discussed the essential parameter settings required to get optimal results. Now, in this next chapter, we will explore the step-by-step -step process of scanning an object using our OptimScan 5M+. So let's dive right in and unlock the skills of 3D scanning without automatic turntable. First, we will use in markers alignment. Before the scanning, the first step you should do is adjusting the scanning distance. Make sure the two laser points are overlap and cross sign is clear and sharp. Next is to check if the brightness is correct. With the right brightness setting, the object will show slightly reddish in the camera window. If it's not correct, adjust using the brightness adjustment bar. Remember that do not adjust the aperture or the focus of the camera lens or optical lens, or you will need to recalibrate. Also, check if there are green cross mark and numbers shows on the markers. If not, means that the scanner cannot recognize the markers and you need to recalibrate the scanner. And if you do not want the background data, you can turn on background masking function and adjust the number of data you want to shield. Then click the scan button on the right to scan. It will scan just one frame of data and you need to change the angle or position of the object in order to get the complete data. If you found some part of the data is not complete, aim the center of the cross sign to the incomplete data area and rescan. Be aware that between two adjacent frames, they need to have more than four common markers to make the alignment successful. After finishing the upper side, flip it to the other side and you will find the scanner cannot recognize markers. This is because the current frame does not share at least four common markers with the previous frame. And this is a thin wall part, so we were not able to paste the markers on the side. And how to align the data between these two sides? Let me introduce another align mode, the global markers alignment. In this mode, you will scan the markers first and then get point cloud data. And what we're going to do is to scan the global markers on both sides of the object since we cannot transfer from one side to the other side as we tried before. So we need to put extra markers to help to make the alignment successful. We will put markers on the clamp and turntable to make sure each time we turn the object, the current frame will share at least four markers with the previous frame. After finishing the scanning, delete the markers on the clamp and the turntable. Only keep the markers on the scanned object. Then we can jump to point cloud scanning or you can save the global markers file. This time you can easily scan both sides of the object without any alignment problem. After finishing the point cloud scanning, you can use the data editing tool at the bottom of the software using cutting plane tool to delete data under the created plane. Using the selecting tool to select data and delete. And the connected domain is helping you to choose the connected data and delete unnecessary data. On the right, we have the point cloud optimization button. This is for deleting some noisy points and optimize the data. You can also create new project or open project using this project button. Next one is alignment button. You can align projects or frames using this function. We will specifically introduce this in another video. 
for the save button, you can save the scan point cloud data, but only for a single scan, which means you can save them separately by frame. If you want to save the whole scan data, you should mesh the project first, which we will introduce in the upcoming episode. For the alignment mode, we also have feature alignment. If the scan object has enough features, you can use this mode without pasting markers. Just put it within the scanning range, aiming the cross sign to the object with correct distance, click the scan button, and change angle or position until you get the complete data. These are all for this video. Please follow our channel. We will post more videos about interesting and useful skills of this powerful 3D scanner, Optimus Scan 5M Plus. Thanks for watching.